Hey cuties, it's your girl Tana 2 q and I'm coming to chit and chat about the finale of Sisters. No turning back. Come on y'all, let's talk about it. I feel good. Wait a minute. Who I are I you? Wow. So the episode started out with Maurice. So he is still, you know, on this bandwagon of turning himself in just so that Sabrina can be uh, eliminated from this whole ordeal with him and Q. So he's made up his mind about turning himself in. Calvin finds out about it. Notice that, you know, Maurice is kind of acting a little weird. He's not throwing his jokes out. And he finally told Calvin that, hey, he's turning himself in. Y'all cannot change my mind. So Calvin gets on the phone with Sabrina, letting her know what's going on. And she rushes over to Maurice's and saying, hey, look, we're going to go with you. She calls the attorney and they all go down to the DA's office. So while they're at the DA's office, you know, they still cannot convince Maurice to change his mind. So we're going to see how this is going to unfold when they come back in October. Because to me, I just don't think that Sabrina is going to be safe. If this It's going to be a plot twist to this whole ordeal. I don't know what it's going to be, but I know it's something is going to be twisted about this whole ordeal. But Maurice, you know, they took him away. So we'll see how this, you know, unfolds in the next season. So then we have Danny and Preston. Look, Danny gave the wrong person her pen. And y'all know what pen I'm talking about. Her W pen. Because Preston still has not come to his right mind. Preston think he's somebody else. He think everybody is somebody else. So Preston comes out of the, the, the bedroom and he has on Danny's full airport uniform. Skirt, blue skirt, black skirt, whatever it is. White shirt. But he got on his cowboy boot. He got on his cowboy boot. So Preston is not with us, y'all. He's just not with us. But you know what? He's playing that role. And it really brought a little humor to their their serious uh, debacle, whatever you want to call it. It was really good to see, you know, that. So Danny's really kind of getting worried. So she called over Zach and to help her, you know, figure out what to do. Zach didn't make the situation no better. Um, he said, fix him some coffee um, and just made, you know, light of the situation. But Preston didn't even know who Zach was. And when she was on the phone with Zach and he was like, who is Preston? Who is Preston? So we're going to see. I think he's going to be okay. Uh, but it was good to see, you know, them in that scene. Oh, moving on to Pam and Aaron. So they, you know, Aaron had this great idea of helping clean Karen's shop up to prepare it for renovations. So he asked uh, Pam for her assistance and they kind of, you know, working together, you know, to, you know, make things happen. But we're going to come back to this scene in just a little bit. But did y'all kind of side-eyed, you know, the interaction between Aaron and Pam? I don't know. I just kind of saw something different in their interaction. So we'll see. But we're going to come right back to this scene in just a minute. But let's skip on down the road to Andy, Gary, and Hayden. So Gary, you know, approached Andy. She was acting like, you know, nothing was wrong. Gary looking kind of hesitant to talk with her, not knowing how she's going to respond. Just the, you know, you know, con based on how they their last conversation was. And then Hayden, he just in the background kind of looking to see how Gary is going to work this situation. 
because you remember Gary was just on Hayden's, you know, how he was acting about his newfound wife. Anywho, so the conversation with Gary and Andy, it didn't really go anywhere. Andy kind of really kind of cut him off and gave him the cold shoulder when Gary tried to transition into a serious conversation. So Aiden in the background kind of laughing like, bro, you can't talk about me because the way you handled that, it wasn't it. So uh, then Gary said, well, at least I don't, I know where my girl or woman is and Hayden, he doesn't know where old girl is. She's just missing in action. So, but that's all on them. Not, not, nothing too big going on with that scenario. But did y'all notice how everybody, mostly everybody was kind of dressed to the nines in this episode? You had Fatima and Zach kind of, you know, dressed nicely. And then you had Hayden and Gary. They both was dressed nicely and We'll see. I just, you know, thought that just stood out to me. So then you had Zach and Fatima in Fatima's office. Uh, well, before Zach even entered the office, Fatima was meeting with one of her colleagues at the law office about, you know, this child custody case that Zach now wants to, you know, take full custody of his, his allegedly son because I still believe that that's not his son. I believe the, the paperwork was altered. But Zach is pursuing it. So Fatima was meeting with this attorney to get more information. Zach walks in. He's so funny. Like, hey, what's going on here? It's too many. It's too much. Kiki can. So the attorney basically just broke down to both Fatima and Zach, you know, what he was going to do to see how he can get help them get full custody or help Zach get full custody so you know after he left Fatima and Zach continued their conversation and Zach just really wanted to make sure that Fatima was on board with all of this you know it's been one thing after the other with Zach and these newfound kids and other situations that's been going on and Fatima's just been right there she is down for her boy Zach so he wanted to make sure that she was down and she was of course so then Andy kind of appeared in the office with Fatima and Zach she was really just trying to buy time to allow Gary and Hayden to kind of disappear so she you know hey friends and you know just shooting conversation making up conversation rather back to Karen, uh, uh, Aaron, Pam, and then Karen showed up. So we're back at Karen's shop. So Karen walks up all fast and everything and, you know, acting like she's about to, you know, do some work too. But Pam said, hello, Miss Honey, in Pam's voice. Uh, was, you know, get, letting uh, Karen know that Zach brought the check that he promised that he would help her get her shop back together. So Pam was trying to present that to Karen. And now Karen, based on what happened in that episode where Fatima pulled up on her in her house, based on that, now Karen doesn't want his help. She don't need anything from Zach. So basically, she just, you know, said she didn't want the check. And Pam was like, oh, no. Um, so she, you know, tried to hand her the check. And Karen took that check and, and tore the check up and threw it down. And Pam was like, you know, Pam, like, what is really going on with her? So she was like, well, I don't need anything from Zach. So she said, let me call him. So Karen gets on the phone and calls Zach. So now we're going to take it back to Fatima's office where you have Fatima, Zach, and Andy in the office. Getting juicy, y'all. So in the office, Zach receives this phone call from Karen. So it rings once and, you know, Zach saw who it was. And, you know, of course, he get a little nervous and acting like, you know, nothing is wrong. And 
He didn't answer. He put the phone, you know, turned the phone over. It rings again. And Fatima like, answer the phone. Who is it? Answer the phone, really? So Fatima grabbed the phone and she answered the phone on speaker. And that's when you heard in the trailers or the, you know, the highlights of what was coming where Karen said, oh, it's you. And Fatima said, yeah, it's me. So it went down from there. So they was going back and forth. But uh, Karen said when she see her, she going to pow pow her on sight. Fatima said, you talk that game, but are you about it? She about it, rather. So they went back and forth. And I mean, my head was going left, right, left, right. Uh, Andy looking nervous. She didn't know what to do. She looking at Zach. Zach is like, come on, Fatima, come on. Trying to get her to hang up the phone. And eventually, they got off the phone. Okay, so now, y'all fasten your seatbelts. Because Karen came into that office. I mean, she was a walking and a switching speaking to the receptionist how you doing just as calm cool and collect y'all better be careful when you see a woman that's acting real calm cool and collect after something major has happened you better be real careful with that one but she came in so andy kind of you know stopped her in her tracks at some point and was like what are you doing here let's go into my office and Karen was like, I'm here for a reason. Karen went into her purse. But by this time, y'all, Fatima had walked up. Like, you know, what's good? They didn't show her face, but she was like, what's good? Like, I'm coming out too. But uh, Andy was still trying to get Karen into her office. And Karen said she's here for a reason. Karen went in her purse, grabbed her pal pal. And pointed right at Fatima and did not hesitate, y'all. And she pulled the trigger. Boom. When I tell you my mouth was wide open, I mean, I kind of, I reacted to the TV like I was there. I couldn't believe it. She pow pow Fatima. Fatima went down. This by far was the best ending to a mid-season finale that I've ever experienced. Kudos to TP on this one, y'all. I can't wait to October. Look, y'all better like this. Look, I was really into this video. Like it up, hit subscribe, and y'all have a good day on purpose. Bye.